What's good with y'all, man? So guys, listen, very important video we got here. The first five things girls notice about guys. Now, fellas, right? We, we gonna key in on some very, very important things. I need you guys to really listen, pay attention, right? Because we're gonna have to put all these things together. A lot of you guys, you know, wonder how to maximize your attraction to women and all this other kind of stuff. Man, this is the video for you. You know what I'm saying? Guys, you work on these five things, you're gonna be good. Might even throw a bonus in there, we'll see. But guys, with that said, y'all follow me on IG. Check the links in the description because actually my program, the Alpha Male Blueprint, I cover all these things in more depth, right? So if you're really looking for the level up, bro, check that out. Also, man, turn on notifications, man. Let's hop into this, guys. The first five things girls notice about guys. And listen, I'm gonna tell you guys something. This is before you even open your mouth, right? Girls notice these things before you even open your mouth, guys. So just keep this stuff in mind, all right? Number one, guys, the first thing they notice, your hair, you know, your hairstyle, your beard, they're checking to see if you're well-groomed. That's the main point. The main issue here, they wanna see if you're a groomed man. You know what I'm saying? What What does this hair look like? What is this style? Like, like this kind of stuff is very important to women. So from a distance, she's seeing you, she sees, you know what I'm saying? What, depending on where she's looking, guys, sometimes women are, you know, looking from the bottom up. They'll check your shoes first, but typically if they're looking from the top, you know what I'm saying? They're checking your hair, your beard, if you have one, mustache, they're checking that kind of style. You know, how do you groom yourself? Is that to her, you know what I'm saying? Is that to her kind of liking or, and that's just strictly off of her attraction. If you don't got a beard, guys, because you can't grow one, can you really do anything about that? Should you beat yourself up about that? No, but I also got a video on how to grow a beard. So it is what it is. Anyways, guys. Make sure that you do this stuff for you because you're going to attract the chick that's going to see you. If she likes what your style is, your hair and your, your beard style, cool. Don't be trying to change yourself. You know, I just got to throw that in there. So here's the second point, guys. She's checking your style clothes and shoes. You know what I'm saying? So obviously, if she's looking from top bottom. She's checking your beard, your hair first. Bottom up, she's checking shoes and then to your clothes. So guys... Another thing, make sure that you, you know, girls want to be able to be out with you. You know, they want to be seen all the time. Women want to be seen all the time. They Even when they broke, they want to go to brunch and spend money and share meals. Because they broke, they got to share the meals with their girlfriends. But overall, they want to be seen all the time. They want to do things just to do things, just to be seen, just to have an excuse to put on something nice, to put on some makeup. It is what it is. But when she's looking at a guy, she's like, okay, well, if I'm seen out with him, is he going to catch eyes? You know, is he going to be a damper to, you know, her style or whatever she got going on? Women are checking for this. So they want to, you know, they want a nice dressed man, you know, to keep it real with you. Not as, you know, we to us guys, it doesn't matter as much, you know what I'm saying? And to the public eye, to the public opinion, it doesn't matter as much how we, you know, what, how well we match and all this other stuff. But to a certain extent, and that's all I'm getting at here, guys, she's checking to see your style as far as, your clothes, you know, your wardrobe, your shoes, is your game on point, right? That's the second thing, guys. So make sure that you guys are really getting, and here's a, here's a tip for that, man. Get clothes that go with who you are, your style, man. Make sure it all fits. Make sure it all fits together. You know what I'm saying? More in depth on the program, but let's go to this next one, guys. The next one is your posture. Fellas, like, like, what is your posture, man? Do you sit here and walk around slouching? Because I'm going to tell you something. If a woman is looking at she's observing you, right? Because what I, I mentioned this before, before you even open your mouth, you know how observant these females are? Peep this, man. Do not be slouching. Do not be looking, you know, with your head down and, you know, down in the dumps and all this stuff. It, it just gives you a negative connotation, a weak connotation about yourself, about your, and you're a man, guys. We got to have strong character. Let me be real with you. Just because, you know, society's pushing, you know, all this bull today don't mean that a man ain't supposed to be a man. You feel me? So, guys, at the end of the day, women still want you to be a, you know, have that protective characteristic. So, you know, and that goes to the next thing. But but right here, you guys, your posture, what does that say about you? You know what I'm saying? If you're a guy that's walking around and you kind of look like, you know, you ain't got no guard you're, you're kind of oblivious, unaware of your surroundings, like like your posture says that, you know, you're kind of a, a, a unconfident man. 
she's not going to find you attractive, even in that, you know, basic um, um, primal sense. So you can't present that manly energy to her because if something pops off, it don't seem like you'll be able to protect anything, not even yourself. You know what I'm saying? So guys, posture is important. Next thing, guys, we're looking at your frame. Guys, your body type, your body frame. You know, and, you know, hella guys, when, and guys, this is not to beat you up. This is to give you what it is. Guys, I'm here to tell you the truth, man. I'm here to help you guys out. So there's, here's the thing, right? Women don't, you know, don't make excuses to be like, oh, well, I can just be a bony guy and this and that. Guys, if that's your, you know, how you're born, your very fast metabolism, you can still get a musc more muscular frame. Do your best to be at a caloric surplus, et cetera. Work out more, you know, build the muscle. You can still do that. If you are overweight or, you know, you, you pushing some LBs a little too much, bro, lose the, lose the weight, man. Lose the weight. Caloric deficit. Get in the gym or cardio. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, more reps, et cetera. Whatever it takes. Build a more muscular frame is more attractive to women. At the end of the day, I'm not here to advocate for a super skinny dude or, or a super big dude. Like, like, no, let's let's be real here. What is the ideal body type? And that's what the point is. They're looking to see what your frame is, muscular frame, your physique. That also goes into, A, you know, your posture and your protective, you know, nature. Are you able to, it looks like this man will be able to do some damage. Even us as men can look at other men and be like, you know what? You know, based off of his stance and how he carries himself and his physique, it looked like that would be a challenge for anybody coming up with a problem to this man. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So, so that, and that's just based off of how we judge each other. Think about how women see it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's just one thing, guys. But all, guess what? All these things tie into what? And look, I'm going to just drop this bonus right here. Guess what all this stuff ties into? Like, like, guys, there's a method to the madness, if you feel me. If you can understand what I'm saying, there's a method to the madness. Now, don't be in your feelings about something if you're not as good here with your wardrobe or your style or maybe you're not as groomed. Hey, man, you can correct it, guys. It's the big major point. You can correct all these things. Everything can be adjusted, can be changed. That's what I go over more in depth on my program. But guys, here's the thing. To build yourself into a better man, you got to accept that, oh, I can work on these things. Me listing out these things and you being like, you know what? I can work on this. I can work on this. That's a good sign already. That means that you're killing or you're ready to kill the game. You might not be killing the game right now, but you're ready to start killing the game. If you feel me. And with all these things working together, guys, what this means is the bonus here. This adjusts your confidence to a higher level. Because when you start doing all these things, you're literally going through the process of leveling up. And what that is, is just adjusting how you carry yourself, your demeanor. This is going to change all the things about you. You know what I'm saying? As, you know, as you're seen in a public eye. And this is with your peers, with other men. So, so other guys would be like... How do I present myself and get more respect? Not even from just women, but men, period. Guys, this stuff right here. How do you carry yourself? All these things hint into that. And they all combine, guys. When you work on them, you combine them into what? Building your confidence in yourself. This is self-confidence because it's about you. Even though this is how women, you know, the first things women see about guys. We don't even, got you. do you guys have any idea how many guys don't even pay attention to this stuff? It's crazy. It's crazy. But, you know, with that said, guys, last thing on the list, guys, when you're in her presence, guess what? She's checking how you smell. So don't be coming out here smelling like, you know, two cans of back that ass up. Don't be smelling like no bullshit out here, guys. Real talk. Real talk. Because women, hey, I've said this before. I'm going to say it again. Women's sense of smell, guys, it's better than ours. They're, and they're smelling this stuff, guys. Typically, I'll get a con. It's crazy because, you know, you, you'll spray some on, right? You And I know you guys have experienced this. Before you even make eye contact with the girl or maybe she's around, she's already smelled you. Because because a girl will sit here and come up and tell, like, you, you you might pull up at a cash cashier or something, right? I've been at the store, so I'm pulling up at a cashier. Oh, you're the one that smells like that, right? Oh, you smell. Oh, I was going to tell you, you smell good. Like when I smelled you earlier, I'm like, what the hell? You smell me earlier. Like what the hell is Nah, but their sense of smell is strong. And they're looking for that, guys. They're looking for a nice smelling man. So, guys, these are the five things, five things that women notice first about men. And I'm telling you, when you put all this stuff together, guys, 
You're going to be killing it out here. This is going to upgrade your game. It's going to upgrade how you move. It's going to upgrade how you feel, really, about yourself. Like This is the whole package right here. So, guys, use it wisely.